everyone and welcome to the breakdown today I'm gonna be teaching you how to install mods on a minecraft 1.12.2 server now I do want to remind you that this video is brought to you by game servers you can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash MC server get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected minecraft server running fours for five dollars per month it's an incredible deal and if you don't want a modded server it's just gonna cost you one dollar a month check it out first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash MC server now I assume you've already got your forge server set up for this tutorial. If you want to know how to do that and you haven't, no worries. The second link down below, as well as the eye above my face right now, will show you uh, how to do that. It'll take you off to a video which walks you through step by step how to start a Forge server. I've helped hundreds of thousands of people set up Forge servers, so it's tried and true. It's got troubleshooting methods that you probably wouldn't even think are built into it because I've helped so many people start servers. So uh, go check it out. It is linked down below, second link as well as in the eye up there. Click that to go check it out. Now, once you've got your server live, installing mods on it is pretty easy. What we want to do is uh, go over here to the admin weapons mod that we're going to be installing. This is linked down below. It's the third link down below. And it will take you to here where you want to click on files and click on the uh, version you're wanting to install for. For me, that's going to be 1.12.2. The 1.12 version works with 1.12.2. So we're going to download this and uh, do that by clicking the download file right there. We want to keep the file. It's been downloaded 13,000 times, so it's safe and we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Now, if you watch my tutorial, right, on how to install and start a Forge server like this, you already have the correct version of Forge installed and running. If you don't, you want to want to click the fourth link down below, which will take you to here, the breakdown.xyz slash Forge, where you want to scroll down and click on the download Forge button right there. This is the Minecraft Forge download links, and you're going to want to download the version of Forge for the version of uh, Forge you have on your server. How do you know what that is? Well, you can come here to your server and look at this. So we have 14.23.2.2611 as the version of Forge. Luckily, that is the most recommended download version of Forge right now, right? That's the recommended version. If it's not right here, you can click show all version and scroll down until you find the version you're running your server on. But uh, for me, it's this one. So we're going to go ahead and click installer. We are going to uh, be taken off to add focus at that point where you don't want to click anything on this page. Click absolutely nothing except the skip button in the top right. Click that and it will download Forge, which we want to keep. Forge has been downloaded probably over 100 million times at this point. I don't know the exact number. I know it's at least millions upon millions of times. And now on our desktop, we have two things. We have admin weapons and Forge. Let's start by making sure the correct version of Forge is installed. To do that, right click on it, open with Java TM Platform SC Binary, and then click on Install Client and click OK. It'll go through, install Forge, successfully install Forge Client Profile. Awesome. Now we need to install admin weapons. To do that, right click on it. You then want to click copy and then you want to open up your forge server file here you then want to go into the mods folder and then click paste i've seen some people freak out about this mod list thing there's no reason to freak out about it just leave it exactly where it is you're good to go there don't touch it just drag and drop or copy and paste like we just did your mod into there. Now we also want to install this mod locally. To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent %appdata percent percent app data percent and hit enter. It'll open up your roaming folder where you then want to find dot .minecraft and then you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? Well, don't freak out. Just simply right click and create a new folder and title it mods. M-O-D-S all lowercase exactly like that hit enter and then open your newly created mods folder now just drag admin weapon into it and we can go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher i'll meet you guys there once you're in the minecraft launcher we need to confirm that you're playing the right version of forge to do this click on the green arrow here and make sure that this is the correct version in our case it should end in 2611 which it does we can go ahead and click that and click play if yours doesn't end in the correct version go up here to launch options and then click on the the forge profile right there next to version we then want to click the drop down box right next to version scroll all the way down to the bottom and you should probably gonna have multiple versions of forge click on the one that ends in the correct version number in my case 2611 right there awesome then click save go back to news make sure the forge profile is selected and click play you're now gonna launch into minecraft 1.12.2 with forge installed as well as your server having mods on it but first we need to launch the server so let's do that go back here to 
uh, your server file and then open up Minecraft underscore server 1.12.2 in order to launch your server up and then once your server is launched, right there it is, we can go ahead and uh, join it. Give me a second. Sorry about that, I didn't want to have to blur my public IP. Seemed like a very easy, avoidable amount of work. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and uh, once we're in, have our server open, once we have Minecraft open like this, we can go ahead and jump on into our server. And uh, you can join via your, your IP, your public IP address, whatever it is. And uh, before I die from these zombies real quick, I need to uh, opt myself. So I'm actually going to just do this and then come over to here and type in OP Nix Games. Then I want to come back back over to Minecraft and do slash game mode one to change it to creative and then I want to uh, open up our crafting menu and then come over to see admin weapons are in fact installed which is the one that I like I just like the admin gun I think is it just like destroys blocks from a distance right is that what it is I can't tell anyway there you guys have it that is how you can install mods on your server not all mods are compatible with servers which is unfortunate but make sure all of your mods are installed both on the server right in the mods folder right here as well as on your local disk in the mods folder in percent app data percent in the dot minecraft folder so uh there you guys have it hope you enjoyed the video and please do remember it's brought to you by game servers go to the breakdown.xyz slash mc server for an awesome minecraft server running forge for less than five dollars a month i'm nick this has been the breakdown like the video subscribe to the channel for more awesome minecraft content and i am out guys peace